What's up? So, in this episode, it's going to be a weird one. But um, this is episode number 16. It's my 365-day video podcast challenge. So if I sound kind of weird, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. I just woke up. It's been kind of a weird night. So um, I know I talked about this before, but I have two, two kids... Uh, One will be four in a couple days, and the other one just turned one a month ago. And my one-year-old, excuse me, he really doesn't sleep that well. My wife was up with him from 10 to 12. We went to bed at like 9, 9.15, I think. And um, this boy tosses and turns all night long. We can't keep him in his own bed because he'll wake up at, like every hour. So he's in the bed with us and just tossing and turning. And She was up with him from 10 to 12. And then at 2 o'clock, she finally says, your turn. So I get up with him at 2. Um, the boy's wide awake. I'm not sure what's going on with him. But um, he definitely... I don't know. I put him down on the ground. He was walking around like like a madman, like a zombie. Not sure. And then finally we went back in the chair, the rocking chair, rocking. And he was asleep again, I guess, by like 3.15 or something. So generally I do my videos like during the day, which... If it would have been on schedule, it would have been it would have been yesterday. But then, I was like, I didn't really do it yesterday. I was beat after work. I got off at like 4:30, came home, and when I come home, it's all family. I mean, that's that's the thing. It's all family. I, I gotta help out. You know, these boys take a lot of work right now, and um, so then I'm like, well, I'll just do the video tonight. But then. 9 o'clock came, 8 o'clock, and I started falling asleep, so I'm like, whatever, I'll just go to bed, I'll just go to bed at 9 and wake up at 3, I had my alarm, I had my alarm set for 3, but then I woke up at 2, I didn't ever wake up, I just kept hitting snooze, finally I woke up at 4.45, so this is what I want to talk about, it's really weird, number one, my kids give me a lot of, I mean, it's a lot of challenges just trying to bust this thing out, but it's also creates a lot of noise in my head. Even all night, I'm just thinking to myself, like, I, I'm not going to do, I'm not, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to make the video. I don't want to make the video. I'm not going to make the video. Just creates all this noise in my head. And like, I feel like procrastination is a big deal but I'm so tired so I mean here I am doing the video but it's like I was having dreams because I couldn't really sleep well and sometimes whenever I light sleep I have like weird crazy dreams so I had this crazy dream that I was somewhere at another event and with a bunch of people and I couldn't even like it was weird. It was like I like the whole concept of the dream was that I couldn't I was behind and I couldn't like hear what was going on and I was just there but I couldn't like participate because I couldn't hear what was going on. It's weird. But having these kids it makes it really challenging. And then this thing in my head, it's like my head, I'm battling with my head about this thing because I feel like you know, I don't have the best content to put to give like I didn't really have the, any content for this video I just had to figure something out and figuring something out sometimes is cool but I mean doing it for 365 days is not cool <laughs> so just dealing with things you know and it happens like that sometimes sometimes you're in flow sometimes you're out of flow right everybody has a bad day every once in a while I mean you can't have good days every single day of your life but it's 
just about continuing on, pushing on, you know, realizing that it's not always going to be good, but keep your highs low and your lows high and just try to maintain a balance. So, you know, with this whole podcast, part of it is that I got to keep growing. I mean, plain and simple, I got to keep growing. I can't just share 365 days if I just stop. And so one of my things that I realized yesterday that I'm going to do, because I use my time in the vehicle to learn stuff, you know, listen to stuff, whatever. And yesterday morning I learned a cool concept that I'm going to apply, but I, my energy level, yes, I mean, I'm on the seventh day of my energy challenge, and yes, I do have more energy, but my energy that I had when I came off of the event is not, it's starting to dwindle because I'm not plugged in or something, like, I can feel it just starting to dwindle, you know, so what part of what I'm going to do and what I realized yesterday is that you know learning stuff in the morning doesn't really help you apply it because I have to go to work and then by the time I get done with work with all the challenges I have there I can't really remember or whatever so what I'm going to do now is in the mornings I am going to do more personal development, more stuff to keep me charged up. And I already have a little bit of a routine in the morning. I mean, you know, when I wake up, I thank God for another day. I also learned this from Joel Osteen, but, you know, I say, Lord, uh, I love you. Lord, I need you. Lord, thank you for your mercy today. Joel Osteen is really cool. Um, a lot of people don't like him, or at least they don't, I don't know if they don't like him or what, but a lot of people, when you say his name, they're like, oh, he's blah, blah, blah. But for me, Joel Osteen on XM Radio, when I was, my, my mind was completely in the dumps, and whenever I felt like I was in the dumps, somehow I turned him on one time, and he just totally, like, brought me out, his little bit of gospel or what not gospel but his little bit of um stuff that he teaches through the bible but he mixes in personal development with it and it is really i like it and he's definitely got a good platform that he he does well with and i don't fault him for that because he's figured it out so definitely learned a lot from him so morning routine definitely to to keep plugging in the personal development try to get charged back up and then in the afternoons to try to learn concepts that I can apply and my biggest challenge still is my kids but I will fight through that it gets better as they get older so I hear but it's really challenging so I mean, I definitely can't, like, just come home and start doing stuff, trying to build stuff. I I can't do it. I have to focus on them. You know, we have dinner time. We have bath time. Sometimes we, like yesterday, we went to the park. So, and I'm grateful for that, definitely, because that's things that have to be done. Like, I love that. I love my family. But the challenging thing is figuring out how to do what and when and sometimes whenever like especially I work a 14 hour day it's really hard for me to come and and focus on stuff I'm trying to build so challenges are always going to come and they're always going to go and the successful people are the ones that figure out how to fix or how to get around their challenges so Thanks for watching. I'm not going to take too much more. Um, I appreciate you watching. And I guess we'll see you on the next episode.